importance of theorem um, uh, we have to take two decayed resistance boxes or dial resistance boxes which are variable and then uh, two battery cells uh, which are 1.5 volt approximately each and one digital multimeter we check the voltage drop across the load resistance so that we can calculate the power output from that and uh, some connecting wires uh, connecting wires so now here uh, I connected uh, the positive terminal of the battery to the load resistance on knob and the negative terminal of the battery to the load resistance another terminal so as the resistance doesn't have any polarity you can connect the positive to any of one knob and the negative to the all another knob negative to another knob but remember that uh, which is the positive terminal which is the positive terminal of the battery connected to this load resistance and because that should be considered as the output positive output voltage positive output voltage now let us take a dmm let us take a dmm and point the dmm to dc 20 volt as we are going to measure the dc voltage which is less than 20 volt because our supply voltage is around 3 volt so this will be less than 20 volt so i am pointing my dmm towards DC 20 volt and uh, this yellow wire is the positive terminal so I place the positive terminal of the EMM here and uh, this blue wire is coming from the negative terminal of the battery series combination so I place the negative terminal of the battery here and now let us make all the dials of RL this is the load resistance and this is the internal resistance of the generator RI which is constant at 100 ohm this should never be changed throughout the experiment and now the load resistance value will be varied beginning from 0 to greater than the RI value greater than RI value that is 100 ohm so that you can come to know whether the power is maximum uh, when the load resistance is less than or when the load resistance is equal to or or when the load resistance is greater than or so now let us change the rl value load resistance value to 20 to 20 and check check the output voltage is point sometimes there will be a loose contacts in this part so you try to hold the knobs right so it will be 0 0.24 for for how much load resistance that is or l that is 20 volt that is let us make it to 40 let us make it to 40 i changed this load resistance value to 40 and now what is the voltage drop across load resistance 0 0.41 here you can see the ohms law as the volt as the resistance is increasing the voltage drop is also increased so v is directly proportional to r that is from ohms law so resistance is increased resistance is increased to 40 ohm the output is 0 0.42 now change the RL value change the RL value to 60 and check the output voltage. So, how much the load resistance now that is 60 ohm and look at the voltage drop across look at the, and look at the voltage drop across RL 0.16. Similarly, we keep on changing the values say up to around 200 or 250 ohm these are the values uh, that are voltage drops across the load resistance during each variation of the load resistance we obtain so now we need to plot a graph um, to the power we need to plot a graph to the power uh, versus load resistance power versus load resistance so in order to uh, know the power 
we need to calculate the power we need to calculate the power p power p by using the formula we all know that the power is product of voltage and current voltage the current the current can be written as from ohm's law e by r by r so in our case e in the sense that is load voltage el so el square by r will be the power output okay? the power output so as we know the load voltage as we know the load voltage and the load resistance rl load resistance rl we can get the power during each load resistance value from there we can derive we can obtain the graph obtain the graph for power and load resistance as shown in the model graph this is how the table looks like uh, and now uh, this is the final outcome uh, which is drawn in the graph by taking the load resistance on x axis and uh, the power on y axis and uh, look into the result uh, when the internal resistance is equal to the load resistance then the maximum power is delivered please subscribe click on bell icon for the notifications thanks for watching